everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty birthday card. So I've used the Bright Rosa flower edge or no, flower border die. I'll show you it in a moment. It's beautiful. This is how big it is. I've shared it before, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now. So basically you slide off the belly band and then this comes out. And it's a really cool card. So it stands up like this. You can have it even kind of closer together, I guess, like that. So it's got more of an M shape, or you can have it quite far out, so if you want to put more things on the panels. But that's how it looks. Love this flower, and these papers as well. I'll talk you through all of them. But the nice thing is, is that when you pull it flat, it folds up like a gatefold card. And then on the back, you've got room to write your message. So you can see that's how it looks from the back. So it's great if you want to put photos, because you've got, obviously got all those panels. But it's just such a nice kind of twist on the gatefold card. I was inspired by one that Kathy, who used to be part of the Trimcraft team, she shared one and it was in the Papercraft Essentials magazine. So that one inspired me to make this one. And I thought I would use this time the Paper Addicts, because she used the Secret Garden. So I'm using Paper Addicts Forever and Always. It's such a pretty paper pack. I used this on my Ferris wheel that I shared a couple of weeks ago. And um, yeah, really, really like this one. So again, I'll share all the links. And this is the Bright Rise, Bright Rosa Flower Band, sorry, Flower Band die. So that's the, the flower itself. I'll be showing you all this in a moment when I actually come to cut it. Because I've done one, but I need to do two and I need to do the middle for that one as well. So that's the die that I'll be using. Okay, so I've got all my mats and layers. So first of all, some really simple scoring. I've got my sentiment ready there as well. So you want to score, because I've already done this, so you're going to score at two and a half. So, sorry, you need a piece of 10 by 7 inch cardstock. And along the 10 inch side, you're going to score at two and a half and at seven and a half, and then flip it over and score at four and a half and five and a half and then leave it up in that position there, okay? I'll talk through the mats and layers separately in a minute. And then with this one, so the two, the four and a half and five and a half here, you want to fold them both down. So you've got mountain folds, okay? And then the other outer score lines you're going to fold, so you've got valley folds. And because of the way that we scored by flipping that cardstock, you shouldn't have any cracking. And then if you just Burnish all of those. You will now have that kind of pop up gatefold look. Okay, so now we need to do all the mats and layers and decorate, and that's it. It's, it is really, really simple. I've added the belly band and everything as an extra. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So you are going to need, and now it depends. The, the amount that you need depends on whether you want to do mats and layers on all of them. You may just want to do pattern paper and just mat it and that's it. But I've done mats and layers. So for my mats, I've got the gold Dovecraft mirrored card. And this is going to go here, here, and then on the backs as well. Okay. Now you want to have, you may want to have the backs here white for your message. I'm going to keep my messages on the middle ones on the inside there. These pieces here... So you'll want, you know, two or four, it's entirely up to you, but they're two and a quarter by five, by, you know, six and three quarters. Okay, so I've got those four. Then I've got pattern paper to go on top of those. So I've got four pieces again, but you may want two. And you, again, you may want to do plain. It doesn't have to be patterned. It's entirely up to you. But these are two by six and a half. So I'm dropping down by one, by a quarter of an inch increment each time okay so again two or four of those and then for the smaller inside pieces I'm only doing two of each because I'm going to keep these white so I can just write straight onto them and I might stamp on that on a later date but these ones here for the mats are one and a quarter by six and three quarters and then one and a half by six and a half Okay, and they're going to stick on top. Now, because I'm also sticking onto mirrored cardstock, I use red tape. So I've already gone and prepared my red tape on the backs to all the ones that I'm sticking onto mirrored cardstock. Then for the centre strip, for the front one, I've got a mat and a layer. So this is one inch, so I've just dropped down. So this is three quarters of an inch in width by six and three quarters. And then this one's half an inch by six and a half. 
okay and again that's going to go in the middle and then if you want to do the same again which I probably will actually because I've done it on the other one I've just forgot to cut two so you'll probably want two of each of those sizes I've given you this will all be listed in my blog so what I'm going to go ahead and do is get all of these mats and layers stuck down and then I'll go through and die cut that flower and uh, yeah finish the card Okay, so there's all my mats and layers. I think it looks really nice with that mirrored cardstock as a frame. Also, remember, whatever ones you put on the back actually become the front of your gatefold. So that's how the card's going to be when it's opened. And obviously, it's going to have the belly band. So you can see how everything kind of ties in together there. So now I'm going to show you that flower. So I haven't finished it all yet, but this is what we're going to work on. So I think I'm going to have that one for the middle. So there's my little... I already went ahead and just stamped on some black cardstock and just used some white embossing powder. So that one's um, yeah, all ready to go. Okay, so there's quite a few different ways that you can use this die, but I'm gonna use it the normal, I guess, way. So I've got the large one and then these. And I've already got some gold here that I'm gonna cut the first one with, first of all. So what we're going to do, because when this cuts, obviously it's called the flower band, so it gives you this band here. So, But I don't want that. You can have it as a solid piece, and it's got little cut lines. So I'm going to get that one. I'm just probably going to have to trim that down a little bit because this does fit through a normal die machine. You don't need a big A4 one, but you do need to make sure your cardstock doesn't go any wider than six inches. Well, if you're using the big shot, which I've got. Okay, so that's how it looks when you first die cut it. And then all you need to do is just carry on the curve of the flower and just take off these pieces here. Obviously, if you want to keep it as a band, then you will keep those on. And I did use it that way when I done my pop-up card. Again, a couple of weeks back. I'll link that one in, actually, so then you can just see other ways to use it. Like so. So now I've got that solid piece. Next, I want to die cut in white, and you'll get this smaller solid one, okay? So I'm going to die cut that first of all in white, and then I'm going to die cut it again, but with this inside, and it will give you this beautiful detail here, okay? So I'm just going to pop it on high speed so you can see me to get all that done. Okay, so I've just done the two flowers, oh that one's moved, and I've just done the green pieces for the middle, and that was using this one here, which I did say when I done my what did I get video, it will also work really well as a snowflake, so it's, uh, yeah, it will definitely get used again through my kind of Christmas and winter tutorials. So now I want to do the smaller flower which is this one here, and it works the kind of same way. So you've got this one, which will cut out this thin frame, and then that one will cut out the solid. So I want to have this in gold, this thin frame. So I'm just going to trim that one down, and then I want this one in white. And then I'm going to do these in green and another colour as well. So I'm just going to get them cut. Okay, and you can see there, look how lovely that is. So now, when you sit that over the top, you get a really pretty flower, Ooh. like so. You can offset it as well, you don't have to have them you know, right over the top, but now, when that goes in the centre, you start to get this really lovely topper. It'd look great on a present as well. So I'm going to cut that again for the other flower and also cut those like smaller snowflakes as well. OK, 
Okay, so there are my flowers. They look really, really nice. They do look even more special, I think, with the um, mirrored card. There's just something about it. I use it so much in my tutorials. So I think I'm going to have... Yeah, I think I'm going to have this one in the middle. So you want to make sure that you have it, because if you have it like that, it goes over these score lines here. So I have to have it like that. So with the point running with this middle piece here. So I'm just going to grab some of my glue and just put a strip down through the middle and stick that one down there. You can have it higher up if you want, but I have it right in the middle. So, and then my little happy birthday and I'm going to just grab some foam and pop a few pieces on the back there. Now, of course you can decorate all these. I do actually have some flowers that I might add in. So I'm going to sit that right across the centre. And then I've got these here, which are part of the collection. But I'm not sure if I want them or not, so we'll save that till later. But now, make sure you've got a bit of wiggle room with this glue, but then once it dries, it dries it's so stiff, it's brilliant. But now you've got that, that pop-out bit. I love it, I think it's so good. So now I'm going to fold that down. And then I've got a piece here, which is 1 inch by 12. It was some scrap for your belly band. It doesn't have to be 12 inches at all. So it can be 5, 6 seven eight inches something like that as long as it comes around to about here because this will stick over it and kind of glue everything together so I just line my card up so it's straight and then just wrap this around don't have to score it or anything just loosely wrap it you don't want to do it really tight otherwise it won't come on and off like so I'm going to put my finger there and then I know I need to add glue just in this section here and bring that over and just hold that there for a second and just slide it off now and then you can really stick it down and burnish it. So I'm just going to like so and then again with this one I'm going to have it that way like so. So you can see how much you know it, it, your cardstock could just come around to like there because this would glue to it because it's that long. So I'm going to add some glue right through the middle there. Get that all stuck down. And then with this one here, I'm actually going to add a really nice gem in the middle. I think they need something. Okay, it just gives it a little bit of sparkle in the centres there. And again, that one there. And now you should be able to slide it back on. Mine's still drying a little bit, but it should be... No, it's still drying. I'm just going to hold that there for a second. Cure now. So I can just slide my belly band back on. I haven't put my mats on the back still yet. I'll do that off camera and you'll see all that in the photos. But how stunning is that? Isn't that gorgeous? That's such a special card. I really, really like this. And then I slide it off and then out pops another beautiful flower. Love it. I think it's so, so nice. And um, like I said, there's so many ways to decorate this. You've got all those free panels there, but I, I actually like that they're quite plain. I don't think I am going to add anything to them because that middle, I think having a simple background really kind of sets off that flower. And then, yeah, I just need to decorate those panels there on the back. I think it's gorgeous and I like that it all folds down into a five by seven. So you could get this in an envelope, but I would recommend you use one of my box envelopes and I'll link that up there for you because, um, yeah, I think with the dimension of the flower and everything else, it would be a shame to squash it. So, yeah, they are the two cards. Let me just get that one out again so you can see it. So that's without the mirrored cardstock. Still look gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I might add some of my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen or Winker Stella on some parts of it just to give a little bit of sparkle. But, um, no, I'm really pleased with how these have turned out. So I hope you like it. I hope you give it a go. If you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.